my name is Matilda Masena. I'm with the East Africa Philanthropy Network. We are here to interview Dr. Mani Chandaria uh, regarding documenting family giving in East Africa and looking at the legacy that he he has he has built over time and also looking at um, the impact and sustainability of his organization. Thank you so much, uh, yeah. Dr. Chandaria, for yeah. allowing us to come and interview you. So my name is Matilda. I am from the East Africa Philanthropy Network, I'm a network that you are a member of and have supported since inception. Um, so we are just here to find out a bit, we're documenting family giving and also family legacy. And you're one of our, our members from before when the organization started. So I appreciate that you've given us time to interview you. So I'll request you to introduce yourself and uh, your organization and what role you play within your organization. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Manu Chandaria. Actually, my real name is Manilal, mm -hmm. but that Manilal has been shortened okay. to Manu. And so my old official documents are Manilal, okay. but I'm still known as Manu Chandaria. Okay. Um, I'm 95 years old now. Mm -hmm. Uh, I started my 95th year, yes. just uh, a month back. Uh, actually, this month, the 1st of March. Mm. Uh, and I have, I'm a member of a joint family mm. uh, of an Indian origin mm -hmm. uh, who had come down in this country. My father came in 1916. Okay. And since then, mm. um, most of the family members mm. are born here. Okay. And now <clears throat> they are all over the world. Mm -hmm. Actually, except myself and my wife, out of the whole that family of about maybe 50 members, mm -hmm. only two of us live here now. Okay. The rest of them are all, all over the place. Yes. Some in Geneva, some in London, mm -hmm. some in Singapore, okay. some in Toronto, uh, and they moved away. Uh, while <clears throat> we started the business here, mm -hmm. and now it's spread out into uh, almost 30 countries okay. or 35 countries. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, being a member of an Indian family mm -hmm. and a joint family, yes. uh, that means everything belongs to us. Yes. And really speaking, nothing belongs to us. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is belonging to the family. Yeah. And all we do is to make very sure mm -hmm. that we build it up. Yes. And that's where exactly what we did uh, in this uh, 70 years that I've been working. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> 70 years of work, huh? Yeah, I okay. was born in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. uh, and majority of my family is also born in Nairobi. Okay. And, uh, with the, of a family with a very small, mm. uh, very small means, mm. yeah. Okay. <coughs> oh, from humble beginnings. Very humble beginning. Okay. My parents came over here mm. to earn a living, mm. and we thought that if we earn X amount of money, mm. it'll go away. Okay. Uh, and uh, after first mm -hmm. six months mm -hmm. when he asked his salary. It was at that time the salary was expressed in rupees. Mm -hmm. Until 1923, yes. a currency in this country was Indian rupees. Oh, okay. So he was, he was said that, all right, you're doing good. Mm -hmm. Your job, you'll be having 20 rupees a month. Okay. Six months, 120. Mm -hmm. And my father felt, Oh my God, at this rate, <laughs> how am I going to get anything? Mm -hmm. I've already spent mm -hmm. uh, out of 120, mm -hmm. 80 or 90 already. Yeah. So it's not going to be possible. Yeah. So he decided to leave him mm -hmm. and start on his own. Okay. And he built, mm -hmm. uh, but he built it at the beginning mm -hmm. from nothing, mm -hmm. from zero really. Mm -hmm. and. Slowly, slowly, slowly mm -hmm. built up, but he, he would, my mother was illiterate. Okay. 
My father, three vernacular, mm -hmm. no speak, read or write English. Oh, okay. So, he made very sure that the children study mm -hmm. education, yes. because he never had the education. Yeah. And so, he pushed us and said, nothing to it, mm -hmm. go ahead mm -hmm. and continue your education. However, mm -hmm. my two elder brothers, uh, one Oh, uh, joined the business very early mm -hmm. and the second one uh, decided to fall in love so also get married and so mm -hmm. again lose their business yeah, okay. but then after that mm -hmm. every child mm -hmm. in the family yes. uh, either there's a graduate mm -hmm. or a double graduate yes. or a PhD oh, yeah. okay. so that is the fourth is it the third fourth generation Yes, yes, for generation now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. okay that's okay. So, um, the the organization you run, what what I know you have several. Which one is did you start with before you built up to others? I started with a, a little farm. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, the the family was uh, very well to do, mm -hmm. uh, and then went away to India. Mm -hmm during the war time. Okay. And they, they got into a partnership in speculation. Mm -hmm. And a speculation word, mm -hmm. they speculated almost everything that mm -hmm. they were here. Yes. And then finally when we finally they decided to stop speculating, mm -hmm. very little was left. Okay. Because everything was then sold out yes. uh, to pay for mm. whatever losses that we kept on making. Oh. And speculation, it's a, it's a very, uh, it's, it's a lust. Mm -hmm. you, you, you are always feeling that you're going to win. Yes, yes. And you keep on. Mm -hmm. And you win Family. also in a big way. Mm -hmm. And then you find out that this is the right way of doing it. Yeah. But then finally, uh, everything was closed, mm -hmm. and then the family moved away. Mm -hmm. The principal people okay. moved, moved away from India to Nairobi back mm -hmm. and said that no, no, that the hard work is the only way yes, yes. we can build here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And from there onwards, mm -hmm. uh, we built the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. So um, I, I, I'm just asking, I would like to know. You, the impact that you've had on society and the community and also the nation at large from where you stand as a businessman? Well, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a story which, is, mm -hmm. uh, which, which spreads over 70 years. Okay. When we started, mm -hmm. uh, we were nothing mm -hmm. except we were well educated. Yes. Our parents had made very sure you got the best of education. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, my brother and myself were sent mm -hmm. to the United States. Okay. We did a degree, master's in engineering. Mm -hmm. He did another degree in food technology. Mm -hmm. We came back. Mm -hmm. So except the best of education, mm -hmm. there was very little financial base mm -hmm. uh, to, to really work on it. Okay. But then, uh, <clears throat> It's a story from nothing to something. Mm -hmm. when, when, when I talk about my father's journey to this country, mm -hmm. to earn a living, yes. to what we are today, mm -hmm. spread out in about 35 countries, mm -hmm. it's a story which is not repeated every day. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it takes a lot of guts, a lot of effort, mm -hmm lot of labor mm. and lot of vision to see what you can build. Mm. So I think that um, it, it's a great story mm. to be told to the younger people mm. that everybody does not come with a pile of money. Yes, yes. Everybody mm. has to keep on working. Yes. And and how work how hard you work. Mm and how intelligently you work. Mm -hmm. Not only hard work alone, mm -hmm. but intelligently you work, mm -hmm. how strategically you work, mm -hmm. 
how you got vision mm. to follow. Mm. You can certainly make it. Mm. And that's why in this country, many of the families mm. that of Asian origin, mm. or even African origin, mm -hmm. they came from nothing, mm -hmm. zero. Yes. And they built a huge center for themselves. Mm. You were telling us that you need to work hard, you need to work intelligently and strategically. Uh, with a vision. With a vision. Oh. With a vision to, to be someone. Mm. Uh, you know, <clears throat> only hard work does not produce results. Mm. The results must be produced by what you want to become. Yes. How you're going to become. Yes. And, and, and it be at it. Mm -hmm. Because it, the time will come, it will stop. Yes. That you will have hurdles, mm. you'll fall, mm. but you've got to have capacity to get up. Yes, yes. And again, put that smile on your face yes. and back to work. Yes. So life has a lot of uh, what you call challenges mm -hmm. in life. Mm. And, the, and the person who takes the challenges, mm -hmm. Uh, get somewhere. Mm. If the person does not take the challenge, mm -hmm. does not move very fast. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it's, it's okay because there are 7.5 billion people. Yeah. Everybody cannot be mm -hmm. a Manu Chandari or, yes. or Mr. Henry Ford. Yes. But the question is that to become something, yes. there has to be some vision mm -hmm. that you want to be. And, and this is most important, mm. yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, just based on what you've been doing uh, in supporting uh, students, of course, and uh, universities come up with the the, the Chandaria centers. Um, how how much is that the impact? How much impact have you felt or have you experienced in that support? <clears throat> well, it's very really interesting that how it all started. Mm -hmm. When we had nothing really, yes. uh, we, we asked our parents, mm. <coughs> let's up, set up Chandaria Foundation. Ah, okay. And uh, mm. my father looked at me, mm. is there something wrong with you? <laughs> and I said, mm. what's wrong with me? Mm. He said, you know, you live too long in the United States. Mm. I said, no, I've lived only three years in the United States. Mm. And I said, but you know, we are not Rockefeller. Yeah. We've got a big hole mm. over here to fill. Mm. We've got 36 members at home. Yeah, yeah. And, a, and a little very plant with 40 people working. Yes. So, get to work. So, leave the idea of this mm. foundation. Yes. Get to work. Yeah. So, I said, listen. Mm. You know, to create a foundation mm -hmm. when you do not have wealth, mm -hmm. it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Once you have wealth, then you don't want to part. Yes, yes, it's true. So, mm -hmm. it's the right time. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. He said, but you know, you guys, are, mm -hmm. because you're in America, you just felt, mm -hmm. oh my God, mm -hmm. what is, where is America, where is Africa? Yes. <laughs> I said, come on, mm. don't waste my time, mm. get on to work. Okay. Well, I said, it's, it's, it's just not wasting your time, it's just mm. an ideology. Yes, yes. I said, no. Mm. After five years, mm. from 40 people, mm. he grew mm. to 400 people. Oh, okay. He came back mm. and he said, I liked your idea. Mm. But not at that time, yes. when we didn't have any, enough to eat even. Mm. So now, we are somebody. He mm. is 10% of my company mm. and created Chandaria Foundation. Ah, okay. So the foundation was created in 56. Okay. My conversation started in 54, mm. or 53 or 52. Okay. But after that, mm. when we created one, mm. What was to do? Nothing. Yeah. Because there's not very little money anyway. Yes, yes. 
So the, the, I started with the one's polishing. Mm. I will spend half a day, mm. one day, just looking at the application and finding out what to do and how to do and etc. etc. Mm. But the ideology mm. of that we have a responsibility yes. of the society mm. that we live in. Mm. If we earn a living, mm. and if if we are well to do, yes. then you, one has a responsibility. Yes. That attitude and ideology mm. came really from from Gandhi's understanding, oh, okay. because he was really running a Quit India movement mm. when we were in college, mm. and we were just fan of his, yes. because. We couldn't understand that a man, so successful lawyer, mm. worked in South Africa, came back to this country, dropped everything, mm. put a little dhoti, mm. and 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 started working for the country. Mm. And we kept on asking ourselves, yeah. "What's wrong with him?" Oh. People look for themselves first, mm. and not. But he said that no. And that was the beacon of thinking oh, okay. that everything that we do, mm. it has an impression. Yeah. And and you can you can be someone, but without a vision, mm. why you want to become someone? Mm. And what what would you what are you prepared to give? Mm. Yeah. Nothing comes just drops from the sea from the sky. Yeah. And so, it was nurturing mm -hmm. the ideology mm -hmm. that we work in this country, mm -hmm. we live in this country, mm -hmm. we earn in this country, mm -hmm. we have a responsibility mm -hmm. to the society. Yeah. That understanding, ninety-nine mm -hmm. percent of people don't have, okay. because money is something which you don't want to part. Yeah. So. We decided no. Let's not talk about ourselves. Mm. Let's create an institution. Yes. Let's fund the institution mm -hmm. and let it keep on doing the work, mm -hmm. so that mentally, the whole family mm -hmm. moved away from instead of mine. Mm -hmm. It started. It's ours, yeah, yeah. not within the family, mm -hmm. but where we are the country we work in. Yeah. Work in Kenya, it's ours. Yeah. Work in Tanzania, it's ours. Yeah. Work in Singapore, it's ours. Mm -hmm. That responsibility mm -hmm. of owning mm -hmm. what needs to be done mm -hmm. is understood yeah. very clearly. Mm -hmm. Once you have that ideology, that everything that you are mm -hmm. is because of that land. Yeah. Because of the people, mm -hmm. because of your entrepreneurship, yes. and unless and until you start accepting that, mm -hmm. uh, you always feel, oh my God, I did it. Mm -hmm. It's not I. Yeah. I I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. It's the whole country's ability mm -hmm. to support what I wanted. Yeah, yeah. That's not otherwise. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, um, in in terms of measuring impact, how does the foundation measure impact? Do you do? Well, we 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 started uh, feeling that look, uh, there are various ways we can support people, mm. but then we decided only that let's look at the education, oh, okay. and let's look at health, okay. and then let's look at disability. Okay. That's only three items we look, okay. and education. Mm. Because unless and until we get educated, mm. uh, our own story mm. from my parents mm. no read, write, or speak English, mm. mother being illiterate, yes, and I becoming a master's in engineering, yeah. it, it's all because a process of education. Yes, yes. And since then, mm. every child in the country mm. and in the family became educated. Ah, okay. So. Education was the most important part, mm. and then we also remembered that the health mm. 
you can be educating, but then there are also issues of health. Yes, yes. So these are the two items we kept on really supporting, mm. and in a smaller way, disability. The impact that you've contributed, for example, in education, uh, most of the focus is in education, then health, then a bit of disability, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, education and health, both of them. Okay. If you take Nairobi Hospital, mm. Chandari Accident and Emergency Center. Oh, okay. If you take Gertrude, mm. Chandari Medical Center. Oh, okay. You go to um, uh, Moira Full Hospital, yes. Chandari Cancer Center. Oh, okay. Uh, like that, mm. number of places, oh, places. That it is diverse. Mm that wherever we can help in terms of health, mm. we would like to. Okay. And then we also thought that without education, things are not going to work. Mm. And so we supported Kenyatta University, Nairobi University, USIU, mm. um, uh, KEMO, a yes. number of universities, not at school level, mm -hmm. at higher level. Yeah. Because we thought that out of 101, Two goes up. Mm. Those are the two who can make the change. Okay. There's a possibility for them. Mm. They can learn mm. to make a change. Okay. Yeah. Do you support education out of the country or just within the country? Only within the country, within not the country. outside the country. Okay. So, okay. so uh, in terms of <clears throat> programming and the, the, the projects that you're doing in education, health and uh, disability, how exactly do you rule those out? Well, we, we, we find, say, say for example, mm. the, the last lavish one was Nairobi. Yes. You know, Nairobi University used to have a Nairobi theatre. Okay. In olden times, mm. they would produce their, their shows yes, yes. and they will move. Mm -hmm. They'll come to Mombasa. Mm -hmm. I was living in Mombasa. Yes. Every day, now and then when they come over there mm. with their show, I'll go and see it. Yes. They went to Nakuru, they went to Kisomo. Mm. Is to spread out to other areas mm. to show the talents mm. and also pass a message yes. of what is what they're trying. Yes. So I was always fond of that. Mm. And then all of a sudden Nairobi University almost forgot it. So I thought the best thing is to create mm. a, a center of performing arts oh, okay. and, and put it over there. Mm -hmm. Now, are they really doing it? Mm. No, not yet. Mm. Not, we need, still need to push them hard. Yes, yes. Because it's a new ideology mm -hmm. that you can take mm. what you learn yes. to, to the people mm. through a show. Yes, yes. You can talk to one to one, mm. but you talk to eight, two hundred people or five hundred people yes. sitting there. Mm. It's a different question. Yeah. It is. yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think that was the idea behind it, mm. uh, doing it. Okay. Oh, so <clears throat> getting messages to the masses, yes. so that they yes. can yes. they can get it. it. It comes easier for them through theater. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Because I I worked. I was on the council of Nairobi University mm. for 25 years. Oh, okay. I'm the longest serving member. Mm. But that that was not a requisite for me mm. to support. But I thought yeah. that why was this not done? Yes. And it, it, it can be done. Yes. If it will be done, then I'm sure that it will it'll improve the country. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Because you can speak one to one. Mm. And you can speak one to five hundred. Yes, yes. And and that is more impactful. More impactful. Okay. More impactful. Okay. <clears throat> so um in terms of sustainability, to what extent have you woven sustainability into your organization so that there's continuity even um as uh, say you're taking a break now, that there's continuity even as you take a break. Uh, sustainability of the money that we give is not our responsibility. Mm. And of the, of the foundation? Of the foundation? Of the foundation, we always make very sure that we 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 invest mm. very wisely okay. and are very carefully mm. because it's a money not belonging to us but yes, belonging yes. to people. Yes, yes. 
it, it, it was originally ours, but we gave it. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the, that we do it very well mm -hmm. and, and make very sure that the returns are there mm -hmm. and the returns only mm -hmm. the builds this. So it started from one little mm -hmm. port and now you can see that there are many, many Chandari organizations. Yes. Now, <clears throat> there was another question about that. Normally Asians mm. believe if the right hand is doing something, mm. the left hand would not know. Mm. That much secrecy mm. that they would keep. Mm. They will not let know that I helped. Mm -hmm. yeah? But then I thought that no. Mm. If, if I do that, yeah. then how would the people, local people over here will know? Mm. We, have got, we have got Kenyatas, we have got uh, Moes, we have got um, Nyachais, we have got thousands of people, yes. hundreds of top Africans over here, yes. full of money. Mm -hmm. How would they know? Yeah. When there are no Chandarya, mm -hmm. center of Chandarya this, Chandarya that, yeah. maybe they'll get into their mind. Yeah. But as I told you, that the first earned money yes. is too difficult to get out from your pocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you just start with whatever you have, little or nothing, and then you move on. No, we move. The, mm. the point is that the idea is that all these people have a responsibility. Yes. At the end of the day, mm. it did not come from sky. Yeah. yeah it yeah. came from the people. Yes. So what's your responsibility for them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And in terms of uh, the framework, do you have like a framework for sustainability for the foundation and these other organizations? Or no, no. Uh, other organization, we once we give, mm, it then ends, it ends. We there. don't take any more interest. No, okay. It's it's their business. Mm, they have to run it. it. Ah, okay. Ours is only sustainability for ours, yes. making very sure mm. the money is well well mm. invested, mm -hmm. well spent, mm. and so that you do not get a re reaction mm. that, no, I spent unnecessarily wrongly here. Yes. All the Chandaria mm. institution that you see around the country yes. is, is more meaningful. Mm. We thought that will be 10, yes. but really that 30, 40 times bigger yes, yes. And, and, and more important than, than what you thought. Okay. Oh, so those are run by, the, for example, the University of Nairobi will run theirs, then USIU will run theirs. And, and yes, yeah, well, okay. the point is that, mm. and then by giving a name, <clears throat> yes. can we attract other people to oh, it, number one? Okay. Yes, yes. Number two, mm -hmm. <clears throat> what would be USIU be thinking of Chandaria? Mm. Because all the younger people who are going to USIU to study, mm. they'll have a case of Chandaria in their mind. Yes, yes, yes. Why would this Mr. Manu Chandaria mm. or Chandaria family did yeah. Chandaria Central Business School? Mm. So I think that the effective mm. is not by, by speech, mm -hmm. by people who are involved in it, mm -hmm. who take advantage of it. Okay. They start learning and understanding. Mm. Now, say a, a, a child goes to the Gertrude, mm. maybe they, they don't have enough money to even pay for it. Mm. Maybe it might not. Mm. But then, in Mutaika, mm. they, they are the richest part of the, of the country. Yes, yes. Everybody who lives over here sees. Yes. Mm. They do. All they have to do is to walk in, mm. drive in, yeah, yeah. to see for themselves mm. that what is Chandaria's institution is doing. Yes, yes. Mm. So it's it's a more or less, many a times people say, it's a, is it an ego? Mm. And I said, no. Mm. It's only to bring people mm. to attention and bring the attention of the people. Mm. That it's your responsibility. Mm. You can't expect United States coming and doing it for us. Exactly, yeah. yeah, many things we can't do. Mm. But what we can do, mm. we should do. Yeah. And we must do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's making people understand that they need to make the change. 
themselves. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Taking a risk. I am a human being. Mm -hmm. I am responsible for me. Mm. The minute I extend my responsibility and say, no, I am responsible for my family. Yes, yes. No, I am mm. responsible for my thousand people or four thousand people working for me. Mm. No, I am responsible for the country that I live in. Yes. You extend your responsibility mm. irrespective. And for that, you require a heart yes, mm. who is willing to be. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, uh, we already invested in, in Chandaria Foundation. Mm -hmm. And Chandaria Foundation is doing the good work. Yes. The question is that the decision to invest in Chandaria Foundation, yes. decision to, to be able to do good work, mm -hmm. Is now being done. Yes, yes, it is. For the foundation, the resources come from the businesses. That is where you started and then you... Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. yeah. But it started in 50, you said in 1956? 55. Oh, 55. Okay. So Until 56. 1956. Okay. So, um, in, in terms of what you now get, how much then goes into the foundation? Is it a no, no, nothing, not, no, nothing. no business and no connection with foundation. Ah, okay, okay. If the business wants to give, mm, they, they are free to give. Says, so for example, mm. you've got Mabati Rolling Mills Limited. Yes. It's a family business. Yes, yes, yes. In partnership with. Mm. It's a partnership business. Yes. Now, what they wanted to do? Mm. They wanted to create a technical institute. Yes. So they built. Babati oh. Technical Institute. Okay, they built one. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, but who, who is the owner of Mabati Technical Institute? The family. Is my partner's family and my family? Yes. 50 50. Mm. All right. Mm. They wanted to create a, a Mabati uh, Medical Center. Okay. So, they built one. Okay. So, they, they, they themselves are doing a number of things now. Oh, okay. Now, the question is that it is not that it has to be a Chandaria. Mm. As long as the responsibility of what we earn, yes. there is a right mm. of debt earning towards the people of the country. Okay. That attitude mm -hmm. that, no, it's my money, mm -hmm. it's my pocket. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's your pocket, yes. but you have a responsibility yeah. for where you earn the money. Yes. Yeah to the community that yeah, is yeah, around yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So w would you say that um, you've contributed in terms of giving them that mindset? With the yes, yes, the I've, I've contributed, yes. but am I finding it that many people are doing it? Mm. No. no okay. uh, I, uh, who are the biggest, ultimately, the, the Asian community or European community? Mm. They're small communities. Yeah. And ultimately, they will not be there mm -hmm. very much. Mm -hmm. What's happened to the local community? Yes, okay. Is it happening? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Yes, Moy mm -hmm. did Moy uh, school, mm -hmm. Moy uh, institution. institution. But what about Kenyatta? Yes. What about mm -hmm. there, there are many of them. Yeah, that uh, in Mutaika, there are billionaires living. Mm -hmm. In the front of this, there are billionaires. Mm -hmm. Here, Jimmy Wanjing is a billionaire. Mm -hmm. Here, there in the corner, there is a person who built a building mm -hmm. which cost about, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, about 100 million children. Okay. Uh, so they all need to also yeah, start, but start giving because they are part of the society. If, 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 they, can, if mm -hmm. they can realize and mm -hmm. understand, okay. and to me, I feel mm -hmm. that if you show them a way, mm -hmm. somebody will. Yes. Not all. Okay. Somebody. Okay. Yeah. So, in, in terms of the foundation, you suggested the idea to your father, then it delayed about three years, then you started the foundation. Yeah. What was the initial vision when you started the foundation? No, no, he said, look, mm -hmm. we, have got, we haven't got anything, the yes. market. How do you expect others to be? Yeah. Feed the children first, mm -hmm. feed yourself, mm -hmm. be upstairs, mm -hmm. have something that you can spend, mm -hmm. then come. Yes. Not otherwise. Okay. So just keep your mouth shut, mm. get on with the work. Okay. Yes, when we become 400 mm. people, yeah. now we've got 
4,000 people working here. Yes. Worldwide, we might have 40,000 people working. Yes. But when he didn't have anything, mm -hmm. he came back when he knew mm -hmm. that now we have a capacity. Yeah, okay, okay. There is more capacity, mm -hmm. but we have a capacity. Mm -hmm. Get on. Okay. So initially it was to build capacity and then you can now start the foundation. The point is that first is the idea. idea okay. Are you sold mm. on the idea mm. that you have a responsibility of the country? Okay. You have the responsibility of a, of a child mm. who is sick, okay. waiting in line at Kenyatta. Okay. Why responsibility? Mm. Why should I have responsibility? Okay. The minute is itself acquired responsibility mm -hmm. for the good of the country. Yes. Since starting the foundation, have, has anything changed or are you still following the same plan you had initially? No, same. Mm -hmm. Same, same plan, plan is that it is the same plan. Mm -hmm. The money earned should be utilized for good job, oh, okay. good work, to not mm -hmm. in the pocket. Oh, okay. To it could be in the pocket. Mm -hmm. there, there are many foundations also, mm -hmm. they create. Mm -hmm. Then they'll build this, mm. make very sure that half of the money mm. is given to them, comes back to him in his pocket. Okay. They are very clear. Yes. Everything goes to support. Everything support. goes to the betterment of the people of Kenya. In terms of leadership and succession, you've just mentioned that the fam it's, since it's family, Owned, then it runs through the family, the children yes, take yes, over, yes, then the yes, grandchildren yes, take yes, over. Yes, do yes. you do you have like um, do you bring on board, for example, some of the alumni th that you've supported, to help in maybe training or mentorship? Uh, no, uh, no. We, normally we don't go out of because Chadaria Foundation mm -hmm. isn't isn't like organization. It's yes. only one or two people. Oh, okay. There's nothing more. Oh, okay. Our trustees who are there mm. must have the responsibility uh -huh. and they do what's required mm. without very much of unnecessary administrative expense. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that the money can be used to support yeah, yeah, the people. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So and that's why the administrative expenses of Chandaria Foundation, very little. Mm. Just very little. Okay. And the, the, the board of trustees is how many people? Five, six people. Four, five. five to six people. So it's run through a constitution? Or yeah, yeah, it has got a trust in mm. it. Everything is, mm. everything is official probably. Mm. Uh, and, and otherwise people would just say you're not paying taxes. Mm. But we, we um, taxes are paid by the company. Oh, okay. So then a foundation nothing to do with it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So in terms of uh, leaving the legacy to your children, and their children and their children's children. The it biggest is... way of moving the legacy mm -hmm. is by example. Ah, okay. It cannot be by writing. Mm. It cannot be by saying. Okay. It is by example. Okay. If the communities in the Asian community or the African community mm -hmm. sees Mr. Manu Chandaria's work yes, yes. or Chandaria Foundation's work, mm. they should themselves mm feel yeah. obliged yeah. to do the same to do similar things. Oh, okay. yeah. What would you say is your most outstanding achievement? Oh, as my, a, your most outstanding achievement? My achievement is look, hmm. Chandaria Foundation is one of them. Yes. Which has laid a standard hmm. for many other foundations. Okay. There are many other foundations today. Mm. The KCB Foundation, there is a Barclays Foundation, there are so many foundations. Yes, yes, yes. But it all started yes. with an ideology mm. of Chandaria. Ah, okay. Yeah. And the ide ideology was borrowed from what Gandhi did? Yeah. Okay. So, um, what legacy would you like to leave when, for example, you're exiting the organization. What kind of legacy do you think you would bring? My legacy would be that let people mm -hmm. of intelligence, mm -hmm. people of means, mm -hmm. start thinking mm -hmm. of the legacy that Mr. Manu Chandaria thought. Mm -hmm. That yes, I have mm -hmm. money to build a plant. Yes, yes. I also have 
a money mm. to build a hospital. Yes. To, so to take responsibility. Your, your model to yeah. yeah to replicate yes, yes, your model yes, yeah. and be able to come up also with ways to support yeah, and yeah, yeah. and uh, contribute to society. Society. Yeah. Okay. So you you mentioned that in terms of the family, is it um, automatic or do you need to organize them to know that uh, these are their responsibilities or in their various ways? They no, uh, with the family because mm. it's spread out all ah, over okay. the place. Yes. It's not Chandari Foundation, so only here. Yes. Wherever they are, there is the Chandari Foundation. Ah, okay. They also understand their own responsibility and see mm. what they can do. Oh, okay. And then in Britain. Mm. Then in Singapore, mm. then in Toronto, mm. then number of places. Yeah, okay. Wherever where the family is there, there foundation. has to be a Chandaria Foundation. Ah, okay. yeah. ah, so that is how you spread the legacy, legacy and yeah, the yeah, yeah. lessons that you want yeah, people yeah. to learn. So according to you, what is the most important lesson you would like to pass to the, the people or the, the practitioners in the philanthropy sector? Well, the, the my point was would mm. be that let more people yes. participate uh, okay. in re, in removing the pain mm. that is people are going through. Okay. We unless until you start knowing what the pain they go through. Exactly. You have no idea. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But people are going through pain. Yes. Today you can find about forty percent of the Kenyans mm. would only have one meal a day. Yes. Who thinks about it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. By just accepting mm-hmm. that they are human beings. Mm-hmm. But somebody should think about it. Mm-hmm. When we started thinking that there is a drought, yes. we decided that we will provide X amount of money yes. for distribution. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that is towards Turkana, the drought in Turkana and huh? around the country. Around the country, oh, around okay. the country. Okay. So for it you, it went to Samburu, it mm-hmm. went to Chiolo, it went oh. to Kajado, wherever it was a shortfall. Oh, you yeah. distributed. Yeah. And then for you, what has been the biggest challenge in trying to get things up and running? The biggest challenge is that uh, I, I still feel that we have not been able to convince mm. the money sitting, uh-huh. doing nothing. Okay. Of the people, mm. whether it's African, whether it's Asian, mm. whether it's European, mm. they all have money. Yes. Unless you decide that, yes, a small mm. portion mm. of that yes. is going to do some good work. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So it's convincing them that don't let your money just sit, let it go and support and help people. Ah, okay. And then it should not just be used for you and your family, yeah, yeah. but also help others out yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, absolutely. You have a responsibility. Yes. But that understanding the responsibility for others is mm. not easy. Okay. I'm responsible for me, yeah. but I want to be responsible for others. Yes, yes. That's a difficult question. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So when considering maybe helping other people, what factors do you think people should should think of or put in no, place? No, no. There are five people. You know, so let, let's, let's say... There are five family members, mm-hmm. five families at the same time. Yes. I'm here. Mm. Some is here. Mm. Some is there. Yes. Some is gone down. Mm. Now, if these are here, mm. but also see up what this is doing. Yes, yes. Mm. At the end of the day, mm. to do good mm. is not easy. Yes, yes. To do bad, mm. just now. Mm. Okay. It's very easy. Mm. So to good, that means to emulate mm. from others' example mm-hmm. is not easy. Yeah. Many of them, the rich young people, will think, oh, you know, this is Chandaria's name, mm. Bogus. Mm. He just only gives the name mm. and they gives the money. Okay. Why don't you try yes, yourself? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to see how it is, yes. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that doesn't make difference to me. Mm. Uh, you do little good. Yes. Somebody will do better. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. And if you do each 
it's what multiple. each person does their part, it's, then it's it multiple. becomes big, isn't it's it? Multiple. Yes, it's multiple. Yes. Today, mm. African family system is such, nobody goes hungry. Yes, yes. yes. Mm. Even if there's half a meal, mm. there'll be distribution among them. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So for the, an organization like the East Africa Philanthropy Network, what would you like advice that we do? better or more more and more discussion mm. with the individuals yeah, okay. since for example you went mm. and and so that and see they got a foundation yes but suppose you went to mr vimal shah oh. of bitco oh, okay and said vimal what do you do besides yourself oh, okay. earning a living mm -hmm. from this country what do you do tell me mm -hmm. just and we're not asking you a, a impunitive question, yes. but just to put you to your mind to it. Mm -hmm. Can you do it? Yeah. Should you do it? Yeah. If you, if you do want to do it, why? Okay. If you're not doing, why? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. okay. So philanthropy mm -hmm. organization collects the people mm -hmm. and gives them the example of each other. Yes. Yeah. How they can learn from each other yeah. and, and also do, other. do better also yeah. on their... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how would you encourage the youth to play an active role in growing the spirit of giving? Or well, you know, everybody, you don't have to have an organization of Chandaria to do it. Mm. Even if you hold the hands of somebody, yes. that's doing. Mm. Now, are our children mm. educated, mm. instructed, mm -hmm. taught mm -hmm. to hold the hand? Or the person who needs help. Mm -hmm. If they're not, yeah. then we are in the wrong direction. Oh, okay. So they need to be taught from an early age how to Absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I used to take my my grandchildren mm -hmm. on my shoulder, mm -hmm. go to the slum. Okay. Let them see for themselves yes, yes. the pain mm -hmm. that is there. Yes. So it is teaching by showing them. By showing them, by the party to that, mm -hmm. so that you can... Mm -hmm. You cannot give the lecture and get it done, no. Oh, okay. Impact is very important. Mm -hmm. You see, you feel. Yes, yes. How many of the big boys go and see Chandari accident in emergency center? Mm -hmm. Do, does anything reflect to them? Oh. Out of 100, if one reflects, mm -hmm. will another... Will have made a change. So is there anything else you would like to add? In terms no, of I, I, I think that the, the people mm -hmm. need more feeling for their own people. Oh, yes. yeah. 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 And, and, and it's, it's not asking too much. No, it isn't. To yeah. look outwards. So, yeah. so, so more and more mm -hmm. our schools must be teaching the same thing. Oh. Which school teaches Manu Chandari as a philanthropy, tell me. Mm. Not a single school. Not a single school. Who teaches, who did all this? Yes, yes. Who built the school? Yes. <laughs> mm. you, you, you see, Nairobi University. Yes. How many of the Nairobi University students know who built this? Ah, no. Yeah. Then. It's, it's a, the point is, unless you examine and you question yourself, mm -hmm. you don't find this answer. Mm. Do yourself such. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. You go to the university. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Those people in 1958 mm -hmm. decided mm -hmm. that there is no center of higher learning mm -hmm. in the country. Okay. We shall establish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, yeah. Dr. Chandaria. It's been, okay. it's been interesting learning. So we appreciate your time.